In this video, I'm going to write a page that fulfills the requirements for Lab 4. And uh, I found this uh, fun, interesting data set. So if you click on the link for Social Security Administration baby names, this is on the Lab 4 assignment page. It will take you here. And uh, this national data, 8 megabytes, this is a list of all of the popular baby names um, on a year-by-year -year basis for both men and women that were registered from 1880 through 2014. And they're rank ordered by frequency. So all names that were registered for social security numbers um, that had five or more people with that name are gonna be in this list. And so fun, fun data. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this just by clicking on the link. There's also state specific data. So if you only wanna know about what's happening in Oregon or Alaska or whatever, you can also download this set and play around with it, but I'm just going to be using the national data. And then that went to my downloads folder, which is going to be right here. So I have names.zip. I'm going to right click and extract all. And then I'm going to open the folder. And what I have at the top is a national readme, which is a PDF file and has some information about the data set. And then year of birth, 1880.txt, all the way up through year of birth, 2014.txt. So let's pop one of these open. And basically, it's comma-separated values, which is convenient because we already know how to read a CSV file. But there's the first name the gender, and the number of babies that were signed up with that particular name. And they're already ordered. If I scroll down, you'll see it goes 51 and 22 and so on, all the way down to babies five. Five people had that name in 2014. So. Zeriah was registered five times. And then here are the male names. So Noah, male, almost 20,000. Liam was number two name, Mason, Jacob, William, and so on. So top 10 names for 2015, uh, 2014. And then once again, all the way down to the bottom, Zirin, five times for male. So I thought this was a nice data set. And uh, I'm going to put together a system where basically you can select what year you're interested in and uh, um, the gender you're interested in, male or female, and then a count of how many names that you want to display. So you could either display the top 10, the top 50, or you could pick a number that's big enough so that you display all of them. So I'm going to start by... I already have a data folder in my week four, and I'm going to make a copy of these data files in my week four folder. So select all of those and control C to copy. And then I'm going to go to PHP Storm, select the data folder, and type control V to paste. I'm going to verify that this is the folder I want. Boom, so I have lots of data. So I already have my tips.csv file in there from the walkthroughs, from the tutorials. Now I have the text files in there as well. 